Hey guys, and welcome back to Love Christina. I'm gonna do another discussion today. We're gonna talk about where do you find love as far as on the internet, all these different sites that are popping up. You can find love on Tinder, Plenty of Fish. Just a little discussion on how social media works with the dating world. Nigga, you got to go back to where I upset you at. What the Why are you just doing what you want to do? It works. No. All right, so hey guys, Christina's back. Hey, Christina. <laughs> Who showed you? <laughs> you were trying to get over shot in 2000. Hey guys, welcome to Love Christina. I'm back on my panel. We've got Chantel and Michaela. Today's topic will be, where do you find love as far as social media goes? So they have all these different apps. You got Tinder, um, Plenty of Fish, eHarmony, Match.com. Um, mine actually go to is Facebook. I feel like Facebook gives me lots of choices. Most of them I do not want, but I do get a lot of choices on Facebook. And that has definitely become like the new speed dating for, for me. Sure. I get all these friend requests. I go to the page. I look through the pictures. If I don't like your pictures, that's as far as I go. If I like your pictures, then I go down and I look at what you post. If I don't like what you post, swipe to the left. But if I like what you post, and I say, oh, he's cute, and he, you know, not stupid, he not a oh, thug, he not, he not you know, got too many kids, it look like, then I'm going to say accept. Um, I think it's almost like a unwritten rule. Once you accept, okay, then you guys start liking each other's pictures. And then you slide into the DMs. And then you slide into the DMs. This is not DMs, it's messaging. It's called DMs, direct messages. The direct message. messages. Mm -hmm. okay. She don't really know y'all, she ain't getting you up to <laughs> So, I don't know. Know. She don't know about the single life. <laughs> but I so then it so. goes into the DMs, and that's when you kind of get to know each other. Now, some people will fool you, and you accept some people, and then they end up being kind of weirdos. So yes. you'll accept them, and then they start Facebook calling you, mm. video calling you, which I feel like should not even be allowed. <laughs> like, I should be able to, like, put Determine, something. Determine, like, who you want to be. Yeah, like, like, I should be able to, like, turn on and off people, certain people's calling. Like, don't call me on Facebook. It's ridiculous. If you don't have my number, don't call me on Facebook. Mm, I feel I like feel that's like, a fair. Yeah. It's a fair assessment. I don't want to talk to Facebook you. just giving all the creepers the mm -hmm. opportunities. Man. Like, so, all so you've used Facebook? I've used Facebook. I've used plenty of fish. I was literally on there maybe five days. It was very short. And it was because it just, it wasn't, nope, mm-mm. Those people were special. And, and a lot of people are only on Plenty of Fish basically to have, to have sex. sex. Yeah. Yep. Well, yeah. Booty call. And That's then you can want. even tell by going through um, the websites, you can see like, I feel like you could tell a lot about a person by their profile picture. This mm -hmm. may just be me, but like, I feel like you could tell a lot. If it's a grown man, holding the phone up like this, <laughs> getting his angles to take a picture, <laughs> that's hella suspect. Hella. If there's five of those pictures <laughs> in your profile, like, mm-mm. Hella suspect. Good. So what is supposed, the profile picture supposed to be? You could tell if somebody's serious, like they just take a regular picture, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, it's from them doing something or a picture they took while they was out oh, at this place. Okay. Like, pictures were supposed to have been taken, yeah. right? This is not something you took upon yourself. And then um, I feel like you can tell a lot by just the profile, the things that people say about themselves. Yeah. If somebody's careful choosing the words to describe them and their activities, I think stuff like that goes a long way as opposed to, um, what's up, y'all? I'm such and such looking for love. Holla at me. Those are always hard for me, though, filling out the um, description boxes. I never know what to say. And I don't know if it's because I'm overthinking it. I'm trying to say, well, okay, well, what will, you know, attract people to me or what is, you right. know, more um becoming of me i don't never i never know what to write in those and so i i literally barely ever say anything i just point uh, post pictures I don't so know what to say. so you don't never put what's in your about you like i'll say you know single mom two kids um you know looking for serious relationship it's very vague i don't never go you know likes long walks on the beach i don't know i just be putting like stupid stuff i don't know for mine is easy because like i think of like my twitter description like what it says right now i think is um creator educator currently traveling the world like simple 
who I am, not really. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just enough so that you're like, oh, that's intriguing. Let me see. Let me see if I can get to know you more or something like that. Like, it's always just like a So if the guy put that blurb. as his profile, you guys would be like, oh, okay. Yeah, what does that mean? Educating who? What are you creating? Where are you traveling? You know what I mean? Like, it's supposed to make you inquire or make you want yeah. to know more. Entice conversation. Yeah, you want to know, know more. more. Yeah. So what website are you on? I was a Twitter uh, biography. No, girl, what websites? You ain't on Plenty of um, Fish? No, I'm not on Plenty of Fish. I was on, I did Black People Meet for a little while. That was weird. Um, did you go on dates with people? No, I just talked to a few people, but again, it was really weird. Um, it, it to me what like it doesn't it doesn't feel organic, like it feels forced. You know what mm. I mean? It feels like we're both we're both on this website, obviously, because we want to date somebody. So you're cute, I'm cute. Let's talk to let's talk to each other and see if we want to date each other. You know what I'm saying? It mm. seems like it's very forced. It's not really you're not really building an organic connection, in my opinion. That's what I felt like. Mm. Um, since that time, I think I have a profile up on Zeusk that is not. I've never been on Zeusk. I would profile up right now on Zeus. It's weird though because when I first tried that there's like no there's apps first of all it's weird because there's not a lot of brothers on it oh. um and then it's like she trying to it, <laughs> it goes back to our previous okay. conversation where like do you feel comfortable um, manufacturing a relationship with somebody of a different race than you for me it makes me a little uncomfortable other people are I guess a little bit more adventurous so maybe they're not but Zeusk is the same thing. It just, it feels like you're forcing a connection. Like, I'm here because I want to date. You're here because you want to date. Let's make this happen. You know what I mean? As opposed to getting to know somebody. And I guess that's the way you get to know people. I don't know. But just getting to know somebody and go from there. So where are you supposed to meet them at? Are you supposed to just meet them organically? Like The you? grocery store. Holla at me. I'm at Albertsons. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she's bad <laughs> crazy. Um, I actually never, like, rarely do I meet people in person. And I'm told that I'm intimidating. And I'm not sure what that means. That's, but, um. I feel like a weak nigga said that. Like, a lot, I get that so Excuse much. Like, language. people will be like, oh, you know, you're, I thought you were this, you know, before I started talking to you. But now, like, you're really cool. And I, I don't know, maybe I have, like, the resting bitch face. I'm not sure. Mm. But, um, meeting people out. It, it's never the ones like I would actually talk to. It's always those guys that I would never ever talk to that come up to me. I'm like, oh, okay, thank you, bye. Nope, got a boyfriend. I never get yeah. to give my number out. She's like never old like guys, her. man. Always old guys. Yes. That say things like smile. You or really, <laughs> or really <laughs> young yeah. boys that are like 21 and mm. they barely can buy mm. liquor themselves. And mm -hmm. it's just like, no, baby, I can't do nothing with you. <laughs> my son is like four years younger than you. I'm sorry. <laughs> It's not gonna work. Not gonna work. Mm -mm. But um, as far as dating someone off of a website, I've met up with a few people. I don't. I'm trying to think. Oh, you know what? I did have a relationship with a guy that I met on what was it called? It was called Tagged. This was a while ago. Tagged. Tagged. Yeah, well, that's a new. One. Yeah, and no, it's old. That's so. <laughs> Oh, it was like I don't know. I just know. Wait, tell us eleven. The story. But anyway, so I met him on Tag. And um, he lived in L.A. And he, the way he brought, he made himself. So he had his own business. He made T-shirts. Oh, okay. And it was supposed to be real lucrative. Him and his brother had their own um, building. So, you know, they were renting a building. Like, so it was making money. Wait, question. Did you ask him where is the building located? Yeah. Went through all that. It was in, like. No, did you get the address, though? No, no. So it was in Glendale or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, you know, and he talked about, right? <laughs> he talked about, like, having <laughs> his um, own place and a uh, car, just all this stuff. But every time I talked to him, he was always on the train. But his thing was, I take the train because I don't want to, you know, drive Hang my car, no blah, blah, blah. What kind of car you got? Did you ask him that? Girl, it was some kind of truck. What anyway, kind of never it? seen it. Okay. So, Let her tell can I tell the story? story? I'm trying to get the answers. <laughs> so, um, anyway, ends up, you know, talking. I'm like really liking. I'm like, oh, okay, somebody got their own business like me. And, you know, I'm just really into it. Anyway, all that shit was a lie. He ended up like living on his brother's couch. Um, mm, so they, they had maybe a space in someone else's. I don't even think that, I don't know what happened with the t-shirts, but it was it wasn't even really a job. Not real t-shirts. And the car. I could touch you that one. Never seen the car. And then the car he did have was this like beat up 
not that I'm judging, but just don't sell me on one thing yeah, and it's really that's something a, else. No, that's why I asked you. You should have asked him, like, what kind of car is it? And he's like, oh, I got a, um, a truck. Well, what kind of truck is it? I think it was like is an it? Explorer or something. Like, he was answering. I was asking. Yeah. He was answering. But then when it came time to, like, really get, like, when I had to come pick you up because oh, your car I was, got cold. Mm -hmm. And, girl. It's just, it's this suspect. And then the problem with this is, is, like, brothers will see a video like this. Oh, she bougie. She don't like that. Him. Hello? And you, like, but... You just flat out told me a whole ass fairy tale about your <laughs> life. And I'm supposed to be accepted of that after we find out that shit's not real. Yeah, you know? I can see if you have a bucket now because one, you're either in school and you're building. So of course you don't have that much money to like splurge on like a luxury vehicle. But you're like, in the future, we're gonna have a nice car. But right now I'm just, I'm on a ground. I'm just, I'm just, just be real. Just, just be, be honest. honest. Don't come to be me honest. with what you think I need or what you think I wanna be hear honest. you say. Like I am so like such a cool, like down earth person cool. whatever you come with i'm okay with right. like just be real don't right. lie about it like i'm not judging anybody off of what they got my life ain't where i want it to be so right. how am i gonna sit here and judge you off of where you are at this point in time yeah and this is not the end of life so you're gonna do more you're gonna expand you're gonna grow moment. Yeah. So yeah. All moment. yeah but all i know she has somebody that come into her life i'm gonna ask them every damn question in the book <laughs> That's why That's a lot true. of my sister, her friends, I think they had, I think I ran off a couple of guys because they weren't like you ran hundred. off some of your sister's friends. Well, it was just like you know. she shouldn't tell people that. Well, I just I, it wasn't that I was running them off. If you were a hundred percent all that you would do, uh -huh. then it's not running you off. If I'm asking you a serious question, a series of questions, you should be answer, answering like yeah. this. You go to church. This is um, why. No. Okay, that's mm -hmm. fine. That's fine. You go to church. Yeah, go to church. Well, what church you go to? Um. Well, you know. Okay, you took it too long to think about See, the <laughs> I heard this. I heard this from a friend recently, and I'm totally about to adopt this rule. There's gonna be a three month filling each other out period, right? Mm -hmm. And during that three months, I don't want him to meet nobody. You can't meet my mom. You can't no, meet my friends. Yeah, just you can't me meet and you. Family. Too. I don't want to be your mom. I don't want to meet your family. Like I really just want to get to know you. And then after we, you know what I mean, you could fail that process within the first 30 days. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And then you go through it again or whatever. But that whole three month process is beautiful. Yeah, I definitely like that one. we not grilling nobody. Like I just, I wouldn't even feel comfortable bringing a dude question. that I'm dating, right? That I'm that I'm kind of dating, that I'm kind of filling out to somebody to ask him a gang of questions because well, I'm gonna be not. learning shit just like you are. I'm gonna be like, oh, for real? <laughs> like, well, that's it wasn't grilling, but it's just like, it's somebody I cherish. I'm like, listen, this is Mikey. Or this is Christina. No, nah, she was Hold on. And then she either Anthony definitely might bring really. He might he might bring me back. But come on, Kayla, bring me coming back. But it's like I wanna know, like, what are your intentions? Like, don't be over here playing around. You wanna know somebody's intentions in the first thirty days? That shit is deep, man. I don't even know my intention for tomorrow. And you asking Nigga, me my yes. intentions for a whole nother human? Yes. I want well not you, I'm asking oh. you and the, the dude. If we all on day, well what you do? Well you know I work where you work at. Well you know around the corner. Well what the hell do you do? Don't be Tommy in this shit out. <laughs> don't be real. Tommy in this like, shit out. The whole thing with Christine, I'm like, well what what, the, uh, what kind of shirts he What kind of car Girl. does he got an inner and in a connection? Did you ask him for the <laughs> did you ask him for the address really <laughs> did you pop up over there i did didn't pop up statements and financial records no i did want to pop up though like, no oh, this google to come bring you some lunch what's that there's google like what's the name of your shop google it it don't it don't exist google knows a lot of things google knows google, does. google, google knows. knows so but i um, know you bullshitting too yeah but anyway after learning all that i think we were together <laughs> like and he, oh, and then, so he got kicked out his brother's place. I ended up letting the boy move in with me. Oh, my Lord. Jesus. We was not friends. <laughs> no, this was like, we Lizzie was like friends. one. This was okay. a while ago. Hey, so, I was about to say, we were this, not friends this, this that ordeal. Yeah. Like, this was BC before Chantel. <laughs> before Chantel, this is BC, MC, whatever. It was before, before all of yeah. us. We so were, I ended up letting him move with me. And um, he had that this baby mama oh. who, who he told yeah. me was his baby mama. The girl told me they was married. Oh, anyway, it turned out being a whole flash. bunch of crap. I had to end. I ended up having to kick him out, and what like I police? dropped him off at the. Um, oh. No, I dropped him off at the train. I was like, I, got, I can't do this no more. <laughs> like, you need to go home. It was, it was interesting, but yeah. So how long did he live with you? Maybe like a month or two. It wasn't long. a month. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. But I used to actually be that person. Like I would. Everybody lived with me. Like if we were together, just come, come live with me. But don't you like your space? Like why? now I do. Back then, I was that person who needed to be with somebody and needed 
to be around somebody like I had mm -hmm. to feel somebody like now I literally I want to be with somebody and I, I think about it and then I think about sharing my space and that's when my <laughs> and then hurts. she's like ah. no for real like my bed I'm like how I'm asleep is somebody right there yeah. how am I gonna go to the bathroom how am I gonna shower and you're right yeah. here like I literally think about I that need my space. and it, it makes my stomach hurt but I want to be in love I want that whole aspect but then when I think about like really how intrusive yeah. a relationship is. I've never really thought on this level, but relationships are intrusive. Like, like you on the toilet and he come in and wash his face. Yeah, mm -hmm. or just period. Like I'll be sitting there in my thoughts. He can come and say, what you thinking about? And I'm almost entitled to tell you because we together. And like, you know, nothing. I'm, no, no. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Nothing. I'm thinking about my thoughts. <laughs> And I would like I don't know because I want to be able to share everything so if I'm thinking about something I want to be able to tell you about but it like, but not in that moment like are, does is that what that means like does being in a relationship mean that you're not entitled to any of your own personal thoughts separate from him your own personal desires separate from him your own personal goals separate from him like is that what that means like you have to forego all of that no, and, no I think it can still and, be like, yours chase of the family like no. I get the family part of it but like you know, I, I feel like if I get married and we move in together, like I'm definitely gonna need my own office or um, something. Like we should I both should. have our own offices. Like we just need our own space. No, but what I was saying is just having your own spe separate space before marriage is the best part. Mm -hmm. And then when you come together, then you gotta figure that, that second part out. Even after marriage, like separate space. I mean, I don't know, I live alone right now and I think it's, I think every human should experience that. Mm -hmm. Just because it's beautiful, I love it. I probably love it too much, actually. But yeah, she don't let nobody um, over. Nobody. <laughs> but it's beautiful. I like me, and I like my space. So it I works. Know. It's gonna be a give and take. Of, I don't know how to live with another person yet. I gotta get that together. But if you you sign papers where that's your house, that's his house, so y'all gotta live together, then you gonna have to accept his dirty drawers on the floor. Or your dirty draws on the floor. You gotta accept that you don't pick them up Ooh. all the time. Somebody yeah. draws is gonna be on the floor in either scenario. <laughs> um, but, but I mean, I feel like stuff like hamper. that is trivial. <laughs> I feel like stuff like that is trivial. Like whose draws is on the floor? Yeah, that shit's annoying. But when you like somebody, mm -hmm. right? And when you first you overlook. Yeah, all when that you shit. first like somebody, and like when you guys live live together for the first time, like it's gonna be an adjustment. But you guys are all gonna be all cute and happy still. So like his draws on the floor is not gonna bother you for at least a year. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? We understand each other though, right? So he understand. I understand he doesn't like to wash this because he don't want to get his hands wet. I'm like what? <laughs> I'm like, wash the dishes. Anthony, I'm clowning when I see you, dog. <laughs> All the guys sometimes. No, but he doesn't like washing dishes. Oh, they're dying. Okay. Yes, but we'll finish this up. He doesn't like washing dishes, but I'm like, okay, I like washing dishes, and I need a cap of bleach in there. Put the bleach. If I can't smell bleach in the dishes, the dishes is dirty. And he's I like, can't smell the bleach. and I make him wash the bleach now, but he didn't think about that until I pushed that on him. But we're different because his room is clean. Sometimes my room is a mess, and there's some dirty drawers. I don't know. How's we all mixed up? I told you. So, okay, we're running out of time, you guys. Our battery is dying. But, so, this one was about, basically, where do you find love? We kind of went all around. Um, we went to different websites. And then just once you come together, how does it kind of mesh together? Different spaces, personal space versus couple space. But, um, I guess, what do we want to take from this? We want to take being open to finding love anywhere she is still on that so <laughs> no i said being open to find you can find it on the website you can find it at oh, the grocery store make sure true. you go to good grocery stores like bonds um not the guess one if you go to winco then <laughs> I don't know. Well, I did find Anthony. Anthony. Of course, you superior. Oh, you found Anthony and Winko? I used to work there. Oh, you did. Oh, that's oh, so cute. So maybe so Winko is the spot there. I wouldn't do it. I would. I would go to like Whole Foods or something. Find oh, that's one. bougie. Ain't oh. no Whole Foods out here. Look, where Michaela? Do you see Michaela? That's why Michaela gotta come this way. That means that she gotta come that way. Everybody has to come this way. I feel like she's too much I'm, on the camera. Who, me? Yes, you. <laughs> Chantel is just a mess. I'm All right. Trying to, I'm trying to be out the camera. Come sit down, McKay, so I can see where you are.